What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the Mexican monster, David Benavidez, he called on his excellency, Prince Turkey Alashik, to help assist and fund a mega showdown between himself and Saul Canelo Alvarez, right? He wanted Turkey Alashik to be the bank to make this fight happen. We know Saul Canelo Alvarez, okay, recently made a statement to which he stated that in order to make a fight between himself and Saul Canelo Alvarez, he needed a hundred and fifty to two hundred million dollars. I mean, Canelo Alvarez is saying that that's what he needed to make a fight with David Benavidez, right? So he needs that being David Benavidez because the premier boxing champion, founding advisor Al Heyman and PBC and Amazon Prime are not going to give that money up. Golden Boy Promotions ain't giving that money up. The zone ain't giving that money up. Top rank ain't giving that money up. Where are they going to get that type of money? The only people right now that can produce that type of number, that type of money, is His Excellency over in Saudi Arabia because they're throwing money away. But to the fights that he's interested in making. And now... So David Benavidez, he took to social media after Canelo Alvarez did the interview and Canelo Alvarez stated in the interview, if you give me 150 to $200 million, I'll fight David Benavidez tomorrow. Now Canelo Alvarez, David Benavidez has been Canelo Alvarez's mandatory WBC challenger. He's the two-time WBC super middleweight champion, but he lost his belt on the scale due to recreational D-Rugs use. And then he lost his belt on the scale after regaining it, after stopping Anthony Durrell to regain the WBC title. He lost it again during a global pandemic on the scale, right? So with that said, the WBC, Borough Boxing Council, President Mauricio Suleiman, Board of 32 members, they have a much more leniency with Canelo Alvarez and his representation of the WBC title than they do David Benavidez. Because when David Benavidez... Dealing in a global pandemic and miss weight on a scale where all gyms closed, the world not knowing to, what to expect tomorrow. They didn't give him leniency. He missed weight on the scale, one of the first fights back, one of the first sporting events back with no fans in attendance. He was not given any leniency. David Benavidez was still penalized as if it was normal times. And now Canelo Alvarez has the belt. And they're not holding Canelo Alvarez accountable and forcing him to make the fight with David Benavidez or stripping him of the title. So Canelo Alvarez says, if you give me 150 to $200 million, I'll make the fight happen tomorrow with David Benavidez. So David Benavidez, right? He reached out to Turkey al -Sheik. He took the social media. He said, Turkey al -Sheik, if you fin, if you fit the bill, if you put up 150 to $200 million for me and Canelo Alvarez, I will give my entire purse away to whatever organization you need. If I come up short and lose to Canelo Alvarez, I will give away my entire purse to whatever, whatever, whatever company you want me to send it to, to help children or less fortunate people. And if I win, I will still give away the majority of my purse to any organization that you want me to give it away to, to help for the less fortunate, children or adults. Turkey al has responded. He said, this is a mega fight. What better place to do it in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia? Right? A mega fight. Well, guess what? Turkey al has now responded, according to reports, and Turkey al is saying, not interested in doing business with Canelo Alvarez. Not interested in doing business. It's not worth doing the business that Canelo Alvarez is doing business like. I would much rather put up the money for the winner of the fight that he is putting the money up. He's sponsoring. Okay? The fight between Artur Bediev, Dimitri Bivol, Undisputed Showdown, June 1st, Saudi Arabia, sponsored by His Excellency, 
Turkey Alashik. And now you have David Benavidez, June 15th, is supposed to face against Gavdik. Okay? And he is going to put himself in position of, to be the mandatory for the win of that fight. So Turkey Alashik, his excellency, is saying that I will put up the money for you to fight the winner of that fight. I'm not interested in putting up the money or having any dealings and negotiations right now as it stands with Canelo Alvarez. He doesn't see that it's worth it. That's unfortunate because David Benavidez versus the winner of Arta Bediev and Dimitri Bivol is a huge fight, no doubt about it, mega fight. But it's not a bigger fight than David Benavidez versus Canelo Alvarez. And I truly believe it's the business model of Canelo Alvarez that has turned off His Excellency Turkey Alashik. So hopefully, Turkey Alashik, he changes his mind, right? Hopefully, he says, you know what? I have a, an epiphany. Let's just go ahead and make this fight happen. Hopefully, he changes his mind and make it happen. But as it stands right now, according to these reports, Turkey Alashik is not interested in doing the fight. That's unfortunate because David Benavidez said, don't be surprised to see myself versus Canelo Saudi Arabia in September. Canelo Alvarez historically fights on two days traditionally. Mexican Independence Day weekend, second weekend in, in September, and Cinco de Mayo, first weekend in May. He'll fight May 4th. He's going to fight September 14th. But David Benavidez wants it to be against him in Saudi Arabia. Turkey al is saying, nah. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.